What's going on, guys? I've got some cleaning to do. Whew. Well, as you guys can see, the garage is a joke right now. Everything is a mess. All my rods are kind of in pieces. The boat is just full of junk. I just need to set everything up for the Classic this weekend. So I'm going to go over how I prepare for tournaments and just chill with you guys while I get ready. So a couple things I need to do. Restring all my reels, rig up everything so I'm ready for tomorrow morning. I need to change the prop on my engine because I spun the hub on it a couple weeks ago. Uh, clean the boat. I might as well just clean the garage while I'm at it too, just in case there's some extra baits or something lying around. I think that about covers it. I don't know. It's going to probably take me a long time to do this, but it's been put off for too long and I got to do it now. So let's go. We're about 20 minutes in, we've got everything consolidated into a smaller mess, which is how I usually do it. Gone through a bunch of boxes, I got a few more to go through. I had so much tackle and I was just thinking, if any of you guys want some of this extra tackle that I have, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll pick like 10 people to send a couple baits to. Make sure you just comment below, like this video. I'll send some baits out. I have so many doubles, it's crazy. So I'm down to the last few boxes and I'm gonna start splitting everything up. Hard baits, soft baits, jigs, stuff like that before I can start organizing it. But check this bad boy out. Looks pretty interesting, right? It's a top water popper, but watch this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna have to do a challenge with this lure. Look at that. Well, I got everything separated. Now I have to go through and figure out what I need and what I don't need, put everything away. All the extra stuff that I have, I'm gonna be putting just into a box and just giving it away. Probably been doing this for about an hour and a half, cleaning the garage, organizing these baits. I say organizing, I mean separating. Now I have to get to the organizing part. Box number one. Just had some dinner, hung out with the girlfriend, got everything taken care of. Look at this. Everything's good. I'm not going to go into the organization of my baits because I suck at organizing. I pretty much just throw everything in the boxes in whatever way I think my brain will be able to find it. I'm really good at being able to put something down and remember exactly where it is. It's in there. That's all I know. Everything I need is in there. But, hang on. This box. Very important. Hopefully this is not really hard to change. I don't think it's gonna be, but I'm also really limited on tools, but we'll see what happens. Looks good. We're gonna do this now, I guess, and then we're gonna rig up some rods. Don't know what that is. I found this on the inside. I have no idea what it is. I really can't tell, but it is absolutely shredded. Take a look at this. I don't think whatever that was is supposed to look like that. I'm hoping that it wasn't this thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's good to go. Looks good to me. All right, props done. Tackle's done. Now, we gotta rig up some rods. My favorite part. Then we can go to sleep. I'm just gonna re-spool everything. I haven't re-spooled in a while. How'd that get in there? So here we go. Seaguar. My favorite line to use. I pretty much throw all fluorocarbon, um, except I have one rod with braid. That about covers it. So I'm gonna throw 
20 pound test on two rods, my flip and stick, and then a 7.6 medium heavy, which I'm gonna use for throwing a Texas rig. Obviously the other one's going on the flip and stick, probably throw a jig on there. I have some 15 pound fluorocarbon. I'm gonna put this on my spinnerbait rod, which I'm gonna switch between like a spinnerbait, the scrounger, and a chatterbait or an underspin. And then I got some 12 pound test, which is gonna take care of our crankbait, jerkbait kind of needs. I have some 10 pound tests floating around that I use for a leader for my spinning rod. And that about covers it. We're gonna start spooling up, getting some baits on these rods, and then go to sleep. I'm exhausted. When it comes down to preparing for a tournament, you just need to think what's gonna make tomorrow easier on you. I mean, I could have done this stuff yesterday or the day before, and it doesn't take too long. It takes me a couple hours to do everything to get ready, you know, clean the boat up. I don't have like a massive 21 foot boat with, you know, 30 boxes of tackle either. I have six boxes right here, a box of plastics, and I'm bringing six rods with me, so it's not like, a crazy amount of work that I need to get done, but just factor that in, you know, how much stuff you have, how much time you need. Basically, everything that I'm doing right now is just to make sure that I'm ready tomorrow and just basically trying to make life easier on myself. But again, usually I speed through this. Um, regular season tournaments, sometimes I don't even really get ready till I'm pretty much on the water or I'll stay up late right before, but it's just the way that I work. I'm not a very organized person. I'm not, you know, super on top of everything. These tournaments, while they do mean a lot and it's, you know, really fun and I go out and try to do as best as I possibly can, it's, you know, not the end of the world if I don't have a jig tied on a rod or I didn't spool up one reel. It's not the Bassmaster Classic, but it is the Fountainhead Classic, so that's why I'm doing it tonight. All right, my friends, we got rod number one finished. Gonna rig this up with a Texas rig, 3 8 ounce tungsten weight, 4 out EWG hook. Now we just need a bait. I got the juice upstairs though, I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Guggen baits. Got the good boys. Got some crawls. And the bandito bug. I'm gonna start the day off Texas rigging this black and blue bandito bug. It's a really sick looking creature bait from Guggen Baits. I got to fish it last week when I was in Texas a little bit. Caught a fish on it. It's a great looking bait. I just rigged up the jig. I know you can't see, the lighting is just absolutely atrocious in here. So this is the Dirty Jigs half ounce flipping jig, sprayed grass, and then I have a sprayed grass ultra vibe speed crawl in the back. Solid looking setup. So, so far we have a Texas rig and a jig on. We're also gonna throw jerk bait, spinner bait, shaky head, and a gunfish. So I'm gonna rig those up, get everything ready, and I'm gonna go to bed. Finally finished. All six rods rigged up. I mean, the boat's still a mess. Don't worry about that. I'll get, get that in the morning. No big deal. I need to get some sleep. I'm absolutely exhausted. I've gotta wake up at like four in the morning. So, I'm gonna go hit the hay. Dream about catching some big old fish. I'll see you guys in the morning. Time to go, boys. Well, oh good. It's raining. I'm gonna get out of here, hook this boat up, hopefully go out there and catch some fish today with my buddy Alex. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video on tournament prep, kind of just hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. See you on the next one.